Psychopaths and Psychopath have the same pronunciation in Japanese. That's a clever pun that will become important later. Psychopath Season 1 is one of the best mystery anime I've ever seen, and it's a shame that it doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Let me tell you why you should watch Psychopaths. The anime has one of the most fascinating and gripping settings I've seen. This world is governed by the Sybil system, which is basically a supercomputer. The system gives everyone in Japan a psychopath, which shows how likely each person is to commit a crime at any given point and is connected to stress levels. The lower, the better. For the police officers of this world, passes have a stun range and a kill range. If a person's pass enters the stun range, the officer's high-tech guns will enter stun mode and paralyze the target. If their pass enters the kill range, the guns will power up and explode the victim. As you can see, the justice system here is more focused on punishment than rehabilitation. Other dystopian features include the fact that art is prohibited, the civil system chooses your future career path, and if your past goes too high, you get labeled as a latent criminal, even if you've never committed a crime. What makes this plot fascinating is the main antagonist. He's a psychopath who doesn't get stressed out when he kills people. You know what that means? He can continue killing people without his psychopath ever going up, which means the civil system can't do anything about him. The guns the officers use only activate if the target's pass is high enough. This is such a genius idea, and it leads to many great moments. The story starts off as an episodic mystery before unraveling a giant conspiracy. The plot has a great cat and mouse dynamic reminiscent of Monster and Death Note, other mystery classics. Finally, the characters. The protagonist is Akane, a girl who had multiple potential occupations in life, but chose to be an officer. Her unique traits are her kindness and empathy. She doesn't immediately resort to stunning her targets and frequently tries to talk to them to lower their pass. This makes her the perfect character to stand up to the dystopian world. Her second unique trait is her ability to lower her psychopath through sheer will. She's the only one in the story capable of doing this. Her buddy cop is Kogami. He was a detective whose past got too high due to a traumatic experience, causing him to be demoted. His methods are unusual, and he has a strong sense of justice, even if it means going against Sybil. Masaoka is the kind and wise elder detective, and Ginoza is Akane's strict superior. These characters have great chemistry, and by the end of the season, I found myself attached to most of them. And then the music. Opening one. Ending one. Opening two. Ending two. OST. That's a 5 beat. All of the music in this anime was on point. And then the alternate intro to ending 1 was sick. Hold on. It only plays in like 4 episodes. In conclusion, if you like cat and mouse mystery dynamics like in Monster, Death Note, Talentless Nana, or Promised Neverland, or you like fascinating dystopian sci-fi settings, Psychopath Season 1 is a must watch. It's only 22 episodes. However, if you choose to watch past season 1, don't say I didn't warn you. Season 1 ties everything with a neat enough bow to not require future seasons.